Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of that. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is Kurt Shellstrom and it's a joy to come into your house, into your car, into your office, or wherever you are watching at today, literally around the world. And before we get started, you know, this song has been on my heart this morning. I want to encourage you to listen to this and you've all heard it, but I want to say it again. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. He is the waymaker, the miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. And so today, Catherine, we are Amen. going to have testimonies today. We are. we are going to pray over people's prayer requests. And we want to just encourage you today as you're watching and maybe, you know, you've seen me many times on the program and I say this all the time. Uh, call us this morning, 877-281-6297. Uh, put that number in your phone and anytime that you need prayer, you need someone to come in agreement with you. Uh, we're here to pray over you and pray with you today. And you know, yesterday, Catherine, we had Pastor Billy Burke yes. on Victory Update. I was looking at the numbers this morning, thousands of you, because we were alive on the KCM Facebook page, Victory Channel, Roku, YouTube, and all the other outlets. And literally thousands of you joined in. We had over 90 people in our queue calls uh, waiting to get in and uh, so we could pray over you. And you see the people behind me here. Those aren't just hired employees. Those are licensed prayer ministers. Ministers, uh, full of faith, full of mm -hmm. joy, full of encouragement for you today. And so we want you to call in 877-281-6297. Catherine, you have a praise report. I do, I do. This is from Richard in Salem. He called in yesterday and said that he is receiving healing from a stroke and had favor with his girlfriend. And you know, this is, this is something we say all the time. There is nothing that is too big for God, but there's also nothing too small for God. He cares not only about your healing, not only about your finances, not only about about your, your workplace or your job, but he cares about your relationships. He cares about anything that concerns you. And his word says he perfects that which concerns those who diligently love him and seek after him. And so we're believing that you're walking in the blessing of Abraham this morning, that uh, you're just experiencing all the manifest blessings of God coming into your life. And Kurt, something we say all the time on the program, and it's no less true today than it is any other day. These are not just prayer requests, but these are testimonies that are waiting to happen. That's and right. I, my favorite part of this program is just getting to see all the testimonies that come in of people who call in and within days, weeks, yep. hours, even later, they receive their miracle. That's right. You know, we, every morning when we do the program, we see the sign that's right in front of me. Every letter is a life and every phone call is a life. And so it's not just, you know, you just calling in just to call in. Uh, it's about us connecting with you because you matter. We want to say that to you today. Mm -hmm. You matter. Maybe you haven't had those words of encouragement over your life today or yes. over the last month or even the last year, maybe never. But today we, Catherine, Quest and I, we want to say you matter. That's right. And Quest, what do you have over there in the aisle? Listen, it's so good. Good word, Kurt. You, you do. You do matter. And so, he, you know, I, Taylor called in about, about a few things. And uh, listen, I just wanted to emphasize the same thing. You matter. Listen, I want to read a couple of these to you. Taylor called in uh, about her granddaughter, Jasmine, uh, concerning health and healing in her body. Taylor, thank you so much for calling in. Sharon called in out of New York about finances, favor for employment, direction. Sue called in out of Canada, believing for healing for her and her friends, Patricia, Joyce, and Margaret. Uh, thank you so much, Sue, for calling in concerning your friends. Uh, one more here for you. William called in out of Greenboro. Uh, concerning prayer for family uh, where healing and restoration are concerned. Kurt, this is an exciting time. Listen, we're piggybacking right off of an amazing time of ministry yesterday, uh, not only on morning prayer, but on Victory Update. And I'm so excited to see the pile of testimonies. Come on, these prayer requests are testimonies in the making. Kurt, it's exciting. Yes, thanks so much, Pastor yeah. Quest. Yesterday, Pastor Billy Burke called out a bladder and she received she received healing during the night and her symptoms are totally gone. Lori from Idaho, thank you so much for calling in and sharing your praise report with us. Laura from Illinois uh, called in this morning uh, asking for healing for her husband. Ivy from Elkridge, uh, need, her mother needs healing. Charles from Michigan uh, needs a breakthrough in his finances. And so mm -hmm. right now, Charles, 
our God supplies all of your needs, not some of them, all of That's your needs right. today. And so we just come in agreement right now in Jesus name for whatever financial breakthrough that you need, he, he sees it. Right, right where you're at right now, Catherine. That's right. And not only does he provide all your needs according to his riches and glory, but the Bible also says that he gives you the desires of your heart. That when you delight in him and you make him your priority, if you seek him first and his righteousness, all these things will be added unto you. And Kurt, this morning as I was driving in, I just felt in my spirit that today is a day of victory. Mm. It's the name of this network. It's, you know, I mean, we talk about victory all the time, but it's true. I just really <laughs> believe we're going to see manifest victory today. I'm laughing because I put on here, you know, every time that I'm on, I, I have a little tagline and I put on here, victory is mine. Amen. And people need that today, yeah, Catherine, more than right. ever, that you have the victory. Well, Kurt, you know, you don't know what I'm going through. No, I don't, but he does. Mm -hmm. But your words matter. Yeah. You can speak life or you can speak death over your situation. And so Catherine and Quest and I, we're saying this today that victory That's is yours. Right. And so in the chat, I see all of you jumping on Facebook here. Uh, put it on that little line right there. Victory is mine as some, a sign of just speaking it out over your That's life, right. whatever you're going through today. That's victory right. is theirs, Catherine. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to read some of these prayer requests and we're going to be believing with you for victory in your situation. Donna from Pittsburgh, she wants healing, emotional healing and joy. Donna, we say you have the victory in your emotions. You have the joy of the Lord. That is your strength. That emotional healing is coming to you quickly in Jesus name. I have Cassandra from Cortland believing for healing. Cassandra, see yourself in that victory. See yourself in that place. Whatever you can't do right now, whatever pain you're experiencing, I want you to see yourself without that pain. See yourself doing something that you couldn't do before. You have victory. Glinda from Liberty, Kentucky, believing for healing from cataracts, um, her back and bursit bursitis. So Glinda, we are believing with you. Father Lord, right now, I thank you that you are Jehovah Rapha. You are our healer. And Father, I thank you that you're healing Glinda's body right now, her eyes, her back. Father, every sickness and disease in her body is under the name of Jesus. I have Johnny from Orange Park believing for healing in his eyes from cataracts as well. So Johnny, we called you healed and whole. And then I have Wanda from Medford believing for joy, strength and healing in her legs. Wanda, you have victory in your life because Jesus has overcome. Amen. Amen. And we want to encourage you today to go to the Go Victory app. Download that. It's a great, great uh, tool uh, that will be a blessing to you. And so you can watch the Victory Channel there on the Go Victory app. Mm -hmm. And again, we want to encourage you to call us 877-281-6297. Pastor Quest. Hey, everybody. Listen, I'm, I'm here in the aisle and uh, I'm, I'm walking, listening to all of the phones that are ringing about people calling and concerning, listen, concerning everything from, from healing in their body to supernatural debt cancellation, you name it. And you know, we say this quite a bit, but the scriptures say that we're two or, two or more, two or three agree on earth concerning anything. And that, that word literally means anything. You're not, there's no limit to what you can be prayed or seek God about. And listen, uh, Momenta 2 called in out of Irvine, California concerning protection uh, for family and finances. See, that's the thing, Kurt. I feel like I feel like maybe sometimes we feel like I, I, my issue isn't isn't worthy of calling in about. And that's not true. We're two or three agree on earth concerning anything. Come on, concerning anything. And so I just wanted to emphasize that anything for you could be supernatural. It could be debt cancellation. It could mean a debt free home. It could be healing in your body. It could be crops for you farmers out there. Man, I'm stirring myself up. So 877-281-6297. We want to hear from you. Listen, let me read a couple more of these. Dolly called in out of Oklahoma concerning deliverance, wisdom for children, healing in her body. Um, we had somebody call in out of Rose City uh, saying that their husband needs healing uh, as well as peace of mind. Kathy called in out of Kentucky wanting wisdom, uh, believing God for wisdom, training uh, concerning a test at work. Kathy, thank you so much for calling in. And I believe that you will have supernatural recollection of what you studied concerning that test at work. Praise God. Amen. Kurt. Amen. Amen. I'm just looking at this. Pastor Quest, yeah. Lynette uh, was healed of fibroids 
yesterday Come while on. watching Pastor Billy's uh, pro God. the program of Pastor Billy. Uh, over 60 of you are on the Victory Channel Facebook page right now, and we see you Australia, India, Pakistan, uh, all over the United States, you're jumping on. And so welcome and good morning to mm -hmm. you, Catherine. And you know, Kurt, I was just thinking, you know, while we talk about victory, something that Brother Copeland says all the time is the battle is the Lord's and the victory is ours. And that's the beauty and the freedom that we have through the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, that he fought that battle for us and that we have victory because of his sacrifice. And I was actually reading in 2 Kings chapter six, and it said, and this is about the prophet Elisha, and they're surrounded by a great army. And in verse 15, it says, when the servant of the man of God rose early and went out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was around the city. And Elijah's servant said to him, alas, my master, what are we going to do? And then this is the best part. Elijah prayed and he said, Lord, I pray that you open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the young man's eyes and he saw and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire around Elisha. And later on, Elisha goes on to say, greater are those with us yeah. than, than those with them. And so I'm speaking that word prophetically over your life, wherever you're watching right now, greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. You might be asking yourself, you might be in a similar situation where you're saying, God, what am I going to do? I've got this diagnosis. What am I going to do? My bank statement says this, what am I going to do? And I want to encourage you, greater is he who is with you than he who is in the world. I'm preaching. Sorry, Kurt. <laughs> I just want you to know that though, that that is just so hot in my spirit yeah. right now that yeah. you have that victory in your circumstances. It even, I wrote it even down, 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God will not give you a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. Amen. You Amen. know, we say it all the time that our words matter, but are you living it? Are you walking it That's out? That's right. That's what, you know, Catherine, I see so many times as believers, they don't, they don't do the work. Right. They, you know, say, well, it's great for you, but, but, but are you doing it? And so mm -hmm. they see us that, man, you guys are in, ex, in, excited. You're on fire. Yeah. Because we walk this out right. every single day. And when you do it, you will as well. That's right. And so I want you to watch this quick video by brother Copeland and pastor Terry. The battle is the Lord's, but the victory is ours. Say that with me. The victory is mine. And so watch this video by brother Copeland. Victory. Victory. Yes. victory. There's nothing as sweet as victory. And there's nothing as sweet in the life of a person who lives and has their life sustained by faith in God. There's nothing, nothing on this planet as sweet as taking the word of God, taking an eternal stand on it and win. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The battle is the Lord's. The victory is ours. And Already ours. Victory over death. Hallelujah. Victory over poverty. Victory over sickness and disease. Some of you right now need a shout in your office, shout in the car, shout in your, wake your kids up and shout, okay? You have to have a, if, if you're sitting there and you don't get excited, something is wrong. That, that video just Amen. fires me. I'll me fire too. it up already, but me just too. kind of put gasoline on the fire. And man, that is such an encouraging word that the victory is ours today. And Catherine, what do you have for us this morning? Um, I have a couple more testimonies, which I love getting these testimonies because they just encourage me and I know they help you overcome what you're facing. Uh, this is Cinda from Des Moines. Uh, she called us to pray for her son for an infirmity in his eye. And now it is completely healed. We serve a miracle working God. Melinda from Gastonia, this is another testimony. She is pain free and her son tested negative for COVID-19. So Melinda, we're rejoicing with you. I have a couple more prayer requests here as well. I have Joy from Kentucky believing for healing for her son. Well, Joy, you just saw these two people called in and received healing for their children. So we're believing that your son is healed and her daughter-in-law from head to toe. So we say that they are healed from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. I have Bernadine from Mesa, uh, believing for a friend and his family, salvation and a godly mate for himself. We want you to call in. I want to remind you, call in 877-281-6297. Let us know what you're believing for, your testimonies. You know, God is in control of your situation. And I want to make you aware also 
of our free digital download. It's called God is in Control by Brother Kenneth Copeland. You can go to govictory.com slash morning prayer to download this for free as a resource to you to help you, to stir you up in your faith and to, as a reminder, as an encouragement to you that God is in control. He's on the throne. He knows what's going on. He's not having an existential crisis because of something that you're facing, but he's already called it done and finished by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, uh, Pastor Quest, you know, I just seen in the chat here, uh, Milagros talked, uh, just typed in, he said, I feel a presence of the Lord. Oh yeah. And I, I want to just encourage all of you that are watching right now and Quest, you can testify to this in just a second yeah. that, you know, we don't just jump on here and do this program every morning just as something to do. We come in fired up, ready That's to right. go. That's right. Uh, just our faith is charged up to, to come in agreement with you today. Those of you that are watching, I'm looking through a lens right now yeah. all over the world that we want to encourage you this morning that you can do it. We want to encourage you not to quit on your on your grandson or your That's son right. or your daughter that have walked away from God. We're I'm speaking this out over you today. Don't quit. Yes. Well, Kurt, you don't know what my son or daughter has done. I don't, but I'm encouraging you today. Yeah. I, you've probably been kneeling on your bedside. You've been probably crying at night and saying, man, man, I, I need my son, daughter to come home. I'm telling you today not to quit not to quit. Pastor Quest, what do you have over there? Come on, the well, listen, I've got a few prayer requests I want to read to you. And just to piggyback off of what you're saying, in, whenever you feel like you want to quit, it's too soon. It, it, it is too soon to quit. And I think most believers are literally a faith confession away from getting the desired result. Most believers are a shout away, a praise away, a prayer away. I mean, I, it's always too soon to quit. And so, Kurt, you're stirring me up over here. That is for sure. Listen, Arlene called in uh, about uh, her niece and restoration in her marriage as well as deliverance for her husband. Arlene, thank you so much for calling in. And we are we're in full agreement with you. We are locking arms with you in faith concerning your household restoration in your marriage. Amen. Zoe called in out of the city of Briggs. Believing to be debt free, well, praise God, Zoe. I'm telling you, you will be debt free in Jesus' name. Now, you might have to say that over yourself as well as all of you other callers who, who you know, maybe you're, maybe you're one of those individuals who just feel overwhelmed by the by the the that heavy blanket of debt and I believe that you can come out of that thing in Jesus mighty name. Maxine called in out of the city of Monroe. Thank you for calling in Maxine concerning salvation, deliverance for her son. Um, and we had somebody call in out of Memphis, Tennessee, again, about finances, debt freedom in Jesus' mighty name. Kurt, this is going to be a day of supernatural health, healing, and debt cancellation. I'm telling you, we're going to start hearing testimonies of people just, hey, they just handed me the deed to a home. They just Amen. handed me the deed Amen. to a house, keys yeah. to a car, as well as, uh, I'm telling I'm just, I'm Come so on. excited about Come this. On. We're going to hear cancer reports Yes. In, in Jesus' name where that cancer has disappeared. That's I'm, right. I'm excited over here. I'm telling you. <laughs> But I'm ready to run. I'm ready to run. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And we want to encourage you again, 877-281-6297. Our licensed prayer ministers are here to come in agreement with you. And Pastor Quest, as you said, that Deborah from Providence called in supernatural financial breakthrough today. That's what she called in Amen. for. And so we're coming in agreement with that. Christy from Florida needs healing in her body. And I want to encourage you as you're watching, be specific. You know, they're, they're you know, I, and I appreciate people putting just healing, but you know, God wants to know specific, and he knows what's going on, but we want to know specifics what's going on so we can sp pray specifically for That's you. Right. Amen. Also Kay from Liberty, Texas restoration between her grandson and the father, uh, Elia from Cleveland. She needs favor in her life, peace. And uh, you know, there's so many of you right now going through a tough time and we speak peace That's right. over every situation. We speak peace over your home. And I've said it many times that, you know, worship creates an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So many times people think that just means in church, but what is your home life like right now? And if you need peace in your home, get worship music playing in your home. Get these messages, yeah. God is in control. Yeah. The word of faith, you know, put a victory channel on. Well, I don't have Roku, I don't have YouTube. Well, you have Facebook, you have an iPhone, turn it on and keep it on. 
And so that is what is important. And also Linda from Columbus, Ohio, debt-free uh, home, praying for a debt-free home. Sheila from Washington needs healing restoration uh, in their life. Dan, uh, protection from uh, the virus and healing in their body. Amen, amen. We're gonna get to more of these requests. I just wanna remind you again, call us. You know, Brother Oral Roberts talked about uh, a point of contact. He ministered on that a lot. And we say this on the program, that your call into the ministry is a point of contact. You know, you can pray and believe on your own and we believe the Lord hears you, but there is power when we are able to come into agreement with you and stand on the word of God concerning what you're believing for. So call us. Again, that number is 877-281-6297 and let us know how we can stand in faith with you concerning uh, whatever is going on in your life. I have Sue from Reading, believing for healing for her friend, Carol of Glycoma. Sue, we say Carol is healed from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. I have Johnny from Orange Park, believing for a good health report. Johnny, we say that you will believe the report of the Lord and that that report is gonna be good. It's gonna indicate that you are healthy, that you are receiving that healing that Jesus paid for. I have Sharon from Litchfield, believing for healing from dizziness, congestive heart failure and medical problems. So Lord, right now, God, we lift up Sharon to you. Father, I thank you that all of these health concerns that she has, Father, were put on Jesus 2000 years ago and by his stripes, she has been healed. That's past tense. So Father, we thank you that you are taking taking care of that right now. And Father, her life will be a testimony to those around her of your healing power in the name of Jesus. I have Alexis from Cleveland, believing for an easy pregnancy and birth. So Alexis, we speak to you. We speak to that sweet baby that is in your womb right now. When we say that you are gonna have an easy pregnancy, an easy birth, that you and your child will be healthy and that we just speak to the destiny of that baby right now. Yes. I thank you that that baby yeah. um, is, is called and anointed for to God and to his purposes and his plans. And Father, I thank you that you are surrounding them right now with your peace, with your presence in the name of Jesus. I just have two more here, Kurt. Uh, Gladys from Maplewood, her daughter needs strength and healing. So Gladys, we say that your daughter has that strength in the name of Jesus. The joy of the Lord will be her strength. And then Loretta from Swedesboro, believing for healing for Michelle. So we say Michelle is healed. We don't know really know what's going on, but we know that God is a healer. Amen. And that's all we need to know. The matter is settled. She is healed and she is walking in victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen. Pastor Quest, what do you have over in the aisle over there? Amen, listen, Catherine is preaching my socks off over here and I'm enjoying it and you're stirring me up over there. Listen, Linda called in. Listen, we, you know, we, we mentioned this a moment ago. Linda called in concerning finances for a broken refrigerator. See, there's nothing too big and nothing too small for God. So Linda, number one, thank you so much for calling in and we are believing God for a brand new debt-free refrigerator in your home in Jesus name. Hey, Judith out of the city of Phoenix called in concerning a friend who has cancer uh, and is having surgery on her neck. Uh, today as of the third. And so Judith, thank you for calling in. And we're, we're believing God for a safe, uh, a safe surgery. And I thank you that all, listen, Pastor George says this, faith speaks the desired result, not the dreaded outcome. So that's what we're doing. We are speaking the desired result over that surgery and that you will get a cancer-free report in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Mark called in out of Whitman. Thanks for calling in, Mark. About a second job interview is believing God for favor in that regard. Christine out of the great state of Texas called in concerning a, a, a son's healing of liver and digestive issues. And I've got one more here for you, Kurt. Barbara called in out of Burma. Birmingham, Alabama, uh, for eyes to be opened as well as healing for swelling in your foot. Maybe you're watching right now. Maybe that's you and you didn't call in. Listen, I want to encourage you to call in. Our lines are open, 877-281-6297. We want to agree with you in a spirit of faith and a spirit of victory back to you, Kurt. Right. Thank you, Pastor Quest. You know, just an encouragement, all of you that are watching, I just got the numbers, over 2,800 of you are watching on Roku, other streaming devices, on Dish, on Victory YouTube, KCM YouTube, and on the uh, Victory Channel Facebook page. So wherever you are watching right now around the world, welcome and good morning. Yeah. We wanna encourage you, call us at 877-281-6297, or if you're on the Facebook page here, of course, put your prayer requests in there so we can come in agreement with you. Catherine, I got a praise report here. Uh, Lena from Arlington just called in. Stepson is cancer free praise and recovering God. from surgery this Amen. morning. And uh, I want you to watch this quick video by Pastor Terry. Uh, she talks about no weapon, no weapon. I'm not going to say any more than that. You watch this video and I know it's going to stir your faith. Watch this. 
no weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon, oh I see, I speak to that weapon. No weapon, no weapon, no weapon. You shall not prosper against us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Listen, no weapon, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And I'm gonna, ta I'm gonna jump off of that, that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world, including, uh, including cancer, inclu in any situation, you name it, greater is he who is in me. Praise God. Listen, Kurt, I have Carrie who's, who's calling in from Ohio uh, concerning healing for niece who is diagnosed with cancer as well as they're dealing with employment issues in that house. And I'm, I'm telling you now, that's a temporary problem. God's gonna cure that cancer as well as God's going to allow uh, a, a wonderful, high-paying job in Jesus' mighty name. Miss Jane called in out of Good Hope, needs recovery for back surgery from yesterday. Uh, no effects from surgery, water retention, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Miss Jane, thank you so much for calling in. And we believe that God is at work in your body. Beverly called in out of the city of Sullivan, uh, praying for a good report for Joe from doctor. Well, praise God, Beverly. Thank you for calling in. And we do, we believe God for a clean doctor's report. Praise God. Listen, I want to encourage you to call in 877-281-6297. We want to agree with you in a spirit of faith, a spirit of victory concerning anything. Amen. Kurt. Amen. Brenda yeah. called in from Virginia this morning, needs healing from MS. Faye called in from Georgia, uh, needs uh, just in restoration in their finances and healing. Barbara from Alabama, eyes to be open and swelling in the foot. We speak healing over you, yes. Barbara, right now. You, God is no respecter of persons and what and nothing is impossible with God. You know, mm -hmm. so many times we doubt ourselves, and I wanna encourage you today, nothing, nothing is impossible with God. Yeah. But it goes back to what we said earlier in the program that our words matter. So Barbara, we wanna encourage you to speak life over Amen. your situation right now. Joyce from California uh, just needs clarity this morning and, and strength. Uh, Tracy called in, needs peace in, the, in her family. Uh, Sandra called in from Pennsylvania, uh, just needs protection uh, from the riots going on there in Pennsylvania. And of course, we pray for all of the cities right. and what they're going through. And if you haven't been on our Facebook pages on KCM, EMIC, Victory Channel, we want to encourage you to go watch the video Pastor yeah. Terry did yesterday. We posted it last night of what had happened uh, in the city of Fort Worth uh, with our police officers mm -hmm. and the, the peaceful riders that were going, what was happening there. So we want to encourage you to watch. I know it's going to encourage you when you watch that. I'm not going to yeah. say anything more, but watch that video, Catherine. Amen. Amen. And I want to encourage you at home too. Don't just watch. Don't just watch what's going on. I want you to participate. I just felt like the Holy Spirit was giving me that unction to, to remind you to participate in what's going on here. I have Brittany from Chicago. Chicago, believing for peace, healing, and increase in finances. So Father, Lord, I thank you, God, that you are with Brittany, that you are giving her that peace, that healing, that increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Marvel from Miami, thank you for calling Marvel. Marvel calls us all the time, uh, believing for healing, cough, recovering from COVID-19, arthritis as well. So Marvel, we say you are healed. That cough is healed, that arthritis is healed. You're walking in the blessing. Michelle from Margate, believing for healing from uh, COVID and, or no, COPD and her internet and her computer to work perfectly. So we speak to your technology and we say that that is coming into alignment, that that is working the way it should in the name of Jesus. Uh, Pat from Portland, Tennessee, uh, her brother to have a good health report. We've been getting lots of requests for, uh, you know, good reports and the word of God says, yeah. we will relieve the yeah. report of the That's Lord. Right. So I wanna encourage you, that number again is 877-281-6297.
Pastor Quest, what do you have over there in yes, the aisle sir. before we close out here this morning? Yeah, just a quick, uh, listen, we have a prayer request that turned into a testimony as we, as we said, in Jesus' name, Marla called in out of the city of Buckeye and said that they were believing God for a teacher position uh, for Marla in the ministry. And they're, they're still believing God. They're standing on that job and it will open up. But also David, uh, I believe her husband received the very job they were Amen. believing God and called in about in Jesus' mighty name. Kurt, God's on the move. Amen. Amen. Come Amen. On. We want to encourage you today to watch Victory Update on the Victory Channel and of course on the Victory Channel Facebook page. Today, we have a special guest, Josh Barclay. That's 5 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Central. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great, great program. And of course, this Sunday, the EMIC service is going to be in the sanctuary. So we have the 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock service. And so we want to see you there. Remember, we love you. God, God loves, loves you. And, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord.